called. So I ask you to help me let the world know Malaysia's story. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel again, this is Mick from Mikko Chong channel, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification for you to be notified if I have a new video to upload. So guys, we're going to react to uh, uh, other side of the truth, so uh, this video was created by Dustin, so I don't know how to pronounce the family name or the last name of Dustin, but I just prefer to say it Dustin. So uh, this story uh, comes from... Dustin and uh, Malaysian the title of the video is Malaysian coronavirus incredible success story uh, COVID-19 so guys I want to share this to uh, Filipino also so kung nanonood kayo mga Filipinas so sana ma inspire tayo sa ginawa ng Malaysia kung paano nila labanan yung COVID-19 sa kanilang bansa so without further ado let's jump into the video Here we go guys, let's start the reaction video. This is a story about a country in Southeast Asia that often doesn't get much attention. Malaysia. Malaysia. In March, Malaysia was failing. Newspapers published articles about how Malaysia was struggling against COVID-19. Malaysia had three times more cases than any country in Southeast Asia. The virus was in every state and federal territory. What makes the story even more sad is how the infection spread. Not from Malaysians partying or being badly behaved. It spread from a religious gathering. Malaysians being well-behaved citizens had unknowingly spread COVID-19. So guys, I need to cut it. So Malaysia, I think you guys are uh, most of you or most of population of Malaysia is Muslim. So uh, now you are uh, like celebrating the the Ramadan. So the Eid is coming on 23 and 27 of this May. So I would like to say that happy Ramadan to all of you advance. So here in Saudi Arabia, when Eid is coming on 23, third and 27th of the of the may so they uh like they announced that uh, totally locked down on that day on eid celebration so that means that they are aware what's going on if uh, you have gatherings on that day as we know that uh, muslims celebrate their uh, eid or eid mubarak uh, every every end of the ramadan so that was really sad for all Muslim brothers that they cannot celebrate their uh, traditional traditional uh, Muslim celebration but uh, in, in other ways and uh, this one is just for the safety of our family and the safety of the people so they can celebrate on their home on, on their family only that's what I love about Muslim because they are really comply every um, rules that uh, what's given to them so that was very successful so uh, let's continue but here is where the story gets interesting malaysia's government quickly made adjustments movement control order or mco roadblocks closed events Closed schools, closed non-essential businesses. Great. Malaysia would do MCO 2.0 or the Enhanced Movement Control Order. Okay. For anywhere where there are several cases, all businesses were closed. Roads all blocked. No one in or out. No one could leave their homes. But don't worry, food and medical care were provided. And Malaysia's case numbers, they started to drop. Whoa, that's good news. April 14th, the Philippines passed Malaysia in COVID-19 cases. The next Fact. day, Indonesia. Two days later, Singapore. Singapore is a much smaller country with a population five times smaller. Singapore now has 15 times the case rate of Malaysia. Malaysia is an example that we can all overcome this. How a country that had so many cases did the right stuff 
to stop the spread and almost no media is talking about it. Even myself, I am guilty of this. I made a video of the top 15 countries fighting COVID-19 and Malaysia wasn't included. But luckily, one of my Malaysian followers pointed out Malaysia's story. Malaysia's COVID-19 numbers are good, but when you realize at one point they were three times worse than any country in Southeast Asia, and now they're one of the best, it's an incredible story that needs to be told. So I ask you to help me let the world know Malaysia's story. I got goosebumps to this story of Dan, Dustin. So guys, that's the story of Malaysian and or how they fight the coronavirus. So a lot of us are uh, suffering and all over the world was really struggling to fight the pandemic or coronavirus that we're facing right now. But Malaysia and their ways on how they, they control the coronavirus and drop the count of coronavirus that was really an uh, excellent job from Malaysian government so salute to them so the the case was dropped and uh, absolutely as uh, soon as soon maybe they are already uh, COVID free their ways of um, uh, managing this uh, pandemic was really uh, very successful they uh, fight this coronavirus and how Malaysian people comply and how Malaysian people uh, follow the instruction of the government there is no refusal of anything and even though they are locked down 24 hours it they remain they remain on their home and there's no uh, protest like uh, any, anywhere on the world like in the Philippines they're just protest regarding to this they don't want to comply the the 24 hours lockdown and uh, there's a stubborn person and or hard-headed uh, persons but in the end of the day uh, we are the one who are going to suffer from this uh, pandemic if we don't comply any uh, any rules of the government uh, and the world health organization that they they uh, they are giving to us and uh, we need to help the frontliners also because the frontliners is the most suffer person in uh in anything ways in any any in any ways and uh you know guys this is the best thing of uh malaysian people because they are muslims and uh, we know that muslims is really religious peoples and uh, they follow the rules of god and anything else and uh, they are one of the most successful uh uh, countries in Asia the Malaysia so since I have a lot of uh, viewers in Malaysia so I did this video to congratulate them for what they've done on this coronavirus so uh, maybe I will say this uh, to the Philippines that we need to uh, to follow the the uh, rules or the the strategy of uh, Malaysian government so uh, we can have a uh, COVID free country uh, soon so guys inshallah all of us are safe and inshallah all of us can go out and meet new people and new friends and we can go wherever we want so that's it guys so before uh, i'm going to end this video i would like to say thank you to all Malaysian peoples and happy ramadan uh, happy eid advance happy eid even though the eid is on next week i think so uh, i think so the the eid is on 23 and 27 of may so thank you for watching once again this is Mika from Mika Chong channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification for you to be notified if i have a new video to upload thank you for watching see you on my next video at peace yo this is a story about a country in Southeast Asia that often doesn't get much attention. Malaysia. In March, Malaysia was failing. Newspapers published articles about how Malaysia was struggling against COVID-19. Malaysia had three times more cases than any country in Southeast Asia. The virus was in every state and federal territory. What makes the story even more sad is how the infection spread, not from Malaysians partying or being badly behaved. It spread from a religious gathering. Malaysians being well-behaved citizens had unknowingly spread COVID-19. But here is where the story gets interesting.
Malaysia's government quickly made adjustments. Movement Control Order, or MCO, roadblocks, closed events, closed schools, closed non-essential businesses. Malaysia would do MCO 2.0, or the Enhanced Movement Control Order. For anywhere where there are several cases, all businesses were closed, roads all blocked, no one in or out, no one could leave their homes. But don't worry, food and medical care were provided. And Malaysia's case numbers? They started to drop. On April 14th, the Philippines passed Malaysia in COVID-19 cases. The next day, Indonesia. Two days later, Singapore. Singapore is a much smaller country with a population five times smaller. Singapore now has 15 times the case rate of Malaysia. Malaysia is an example that we can all overcome this. How a country that had so many cases did the right stuff to stop the spread. And almost no media is talking about it. Even myself, I am guilty of this. I made a video of the top 15 countries fighting COVID-19 and Malaysia wasn't included. But luckily, one of my Malaysian followers pointed out Malaysia's story. Malaysia's COVID-19 numbers are good, but when you realize at one point they were three times worse than any country in Southeast Asia, and now they're one of the best, it's an incredible story that needs to be told. So I ask you to help me let the world know Malaysia's story.